Hello everyone, it's Rad. Welcome to the channel. Welcome to Rad Kutsarov and this is going to be Scorpio Sun, Scorpio Moon and uh, Scorpio Rising weekly tarot reading for March 25th to uh, March 31st, 2019. And uh, while I'm shuffling the cards, uh, I want to remind you once again, guys, that this is going to be a, a general reading for uh, Scorpio star sign. And for that reason, the reading itself is going to resonate in a different way and in a different level with uh, every single different Scorpio. If you want a uh, more personal touch, you know, your personal situation to be analyzed by me through uh, through tarot cards and to give you a prediction for it for the future. That is a subject of a private reading and for such you can check out the, my website which is listed down below in the description of this video. And there on the very front page of it you're going to find full list of my services as well as their pricing starting from just as little as $12 for recorded readings and uh, $15 for live readings. So that being said, <clears throat> going to the Scorpio week, the first card that is marking the topic for Scorpio of the week, that is going to be the five of wands, followed by the second card, which is the uh, what, what we should not do, what we Scorpio should not do for throughout the week. This is because I'm Scorpio here. That will be the two of pentacles, followed by the third card, which is the... Um, positive approach toward the situation. What we should do in regards to the topic five of wands. This is going to be the uh, wheel of fortune. And the last one, we do have the uh, final outcome of growth. Should we follow here the guidance of tarot? This is going to be the knight of wands. And to be fair, that is a, a, very, uh, a very tough one, just from the looks of it. But once again, uh, the cards, five of wands followed by the two of pentacles which is the negative card the, the positive card that is to be the uh, wheel of fortune and the last one we do have the knight of wands which is the topic the uh, final outcome of growth so uh, scorpio how can i place it first of all the week it seems that is going to be uh, very dynamic in a sense of that there will be many many things moving around a lot of surprises and through them as well a lot of opportunities to traverse our situations into a productive ones now that is uh, displayed here with the five of uh, ones which displays exactly that that this week we can readopt our strategies in case you know our some of our strategies regarding career or, or relationship lives are rather futile or they're proving themsel themselves futile. But with the five of wands, guys, um, there will be a lot of uh, around turns throughout the week. So that being said, one should not be biased by the situation just from the first couple of days. For example, just because your project isn't working out very well in the first couple of days that doesn't mean that is not going to be sorted out uh, it is a, a very good card where one is trying to do miracles or one is trying to really push hard into one direction and it's kind of like it's it's very stubborn but with the five of uh with the five of wounds one should be ready for confrontations as well so the week is not going to be uh is not going to go only just you know, you're doing your things and no one bothers you there. With the five of ones, there will be a lot of, uh, like I said, confrontations, arguments and wrangles, fights even at, so, uh, at some point. But out of these, um, out of these events on a com uh, of confrontations, there will be a, a lot of you Scorpio or a Scorpio to gain from new ideas, new ways to um, <clears throat> to readopt our strategies as well, new ways to overcome competitions. So because this is going to be a confrontations, it doesn't mean that those confrontations those confrontations are going to be where you lose. It could be a confrontations sneeze alert, guys. Oh my God, I'm gonna sneeze. Oh man. Okay, so it doesn't mean that those confrontations are going to be some, uh, such that you're going to lose. It may be those confrontations are exactly what you need to overcome your competition. 
It's just with, the, with this card, you should not be afraid to get your hands dirty or to confront somebody. Uh, the accompanied card, this is going to be the Hangman Formation Active uh, Enemies. Definitely this week is where your situation stirs and you are unblocking yourself with these couple of cards. But that is only if you try the things or try to budge through from a, a different angle and from a different perspective. Meaning that we Scorpio need to recognize this week what, what, what we are doing which isn't working, right? and try to do it in a different way. For example, um, you know, you're trying to date with someone in a very casual way that you are usually do like, you know, dinners, glass of wine and so on and so forth. While the person wants to go on parties, all right? So you have to do something different, a different strategy here. Instead of spending time alone in the restaurant, go to a party, guys. It's These cards are pointing the um, we can achieve great things if we try to kind of like do different things, if that makes uh, sense. If you are fighting with your partner, for example, into your marriage, it will be best to try, uh, you know, different enterprises just so you can find new common ground that you both can step on and from there to consolidate your relationship. And the reading get, gets hard with the two of wands and the wheel of fortune because these both cards means playfulness. So how one could be negative and how one could be positive. It's really baffling. But what I can get from, uh, from this reading is that with the two of wands, um, uh, the two of uh, pentacles, excuse me, into a negative position, it, to me, it means that we Scorpio should get the things to the very end. So it, it is awesome that this week is going to be very dynamic, a lot of surprises, exciting routines, you know, and so on and so forth. But as soon as we get involved into something, we should not kind of like strain from it midway, but rather whenever we kind of like incorporate ourselves, you know, start dating with a certain person or start performing in a particular project, we should do whatever it's necessary to bring the thing to the very end. That being said, we have to be very selective for throughout the week. Uh, we should not waste our time with shenanigans and simply not proven concepts, that is. Two of Pentacles, it does point that uh, one, it's most productive when one is kind of like not, not stuck with some certain routines, plans and concepts as well. And that is what you need to do. I mean, you need to have your concept. So if you start dating with someone, your concept should be that this, you know, this dating should go into a full commitment. You shouldn't date just for the dating. That is what I'm trying to say here. Uh, for throughout the week, but you need, you need to always aim to get even deeper than, than your initial intentions. The accompanied card, that is going to be the five of uh, swords here, and the formation is uh, passive enemies. So it looks like with the five of swords that um, your untraditional and, or, and unorthodox uh, way of new performance, either career or either relationship-wise, is gonna be unnoticed. So uh, I'm saying that for those who are way too concerned for other people's opinion. So you start going into parties and that is completely out of your character for your friends and your friend starts to, you know, gossips and start spreading gossips and this kind of stuff. And one is way too concerned, you know, for the other people's opinion and what they're going to say for, for their new approach and so on and so forth. Well, that thing is going to be unnoticed in a sense of that nobody is going to really care how you reach your goal. All that is going to matter is the goal itself. So be more brave. It is what we do have with this card. But as well, you have to recognize uh, your limits and as well how much you invest in there. Uh, when with this particular combination, it means that not always the means are going to justify the results. And uh, true warrior is not the one that fights any battle and dies at the end. True warrior is the one who chooses carefully their battles and involves themselves only into a battles that one can only win. Which leads us to the statement I made, we have to be very selective uh, throughout this week. 
So, for example, you have few suitors, you don't know which one to choose from. Well, you choose the one that you are sure that they are not going to abandon you. It's as simple as that. Same goes project wise, you know, you have a couple of projects to choose from, you choose the one that you are confident can bring to the end and so on and so forth. And my God, we're not going to uh, lack any options available here. With the Wheel of Fortune uh, in the positive position, this card represents the need of us to make great, great change into our life capitalizing on the luck of the draw that we're going to have, the dynamic for throughout the week, because it does seem that there will be a lot of chaos here and there. People into your career isn't there, they will not go, they will not know what to do. People relationship-wise as well will be uh, left into limbo and they will not know what to do as well and so on and so forth. But we Scorpio, we're gonna have a pretty good idea how we should capitalize on these situations where everybody is kind of uh, reluctant and as well apprehensive of making any actions, leaving us a, a room to take the steed of the horse and lead the, the chariot forward, if you want to say that way. So we, we can place ourselves into a leadership position, especially career-wise, but with the, the um, Wheel of Fortune, it's, it's very important to recognize your window of timing as well, window of opportunity, and to act simultaneously, if, that, if I can use that term, or straight away. Uh, important thing to know with the Wheel of Fortune is that um, the, fruits, the fruits of your labor, either they are going to be positive or negative, or rather bitter or sweet, are gonna be reaped at the end, so once again, we have to be very selective. I cannot stress you enough because this is the thin line that our reading has, the selectivity. We got to be picky throughout this week instead of just satisfying ourselves with whatever. Because uh, once again, there will be a lot of surprises, a lot of dynamic, a lot of culminations as well. And we should not be afraid to confront and to demand. The accompanied card, this is going to be the Knights of Pentacles and formation is active neutrals. It seems that we can do, uh, we can cut some corners as well throughout this week and truly try uh, bypass responsibilities and as well uh, tasks and making two even three straight forward instead of one to um, be basically one step ahead of our competition or of uh, it, it basically or of uh, ahead of time uh, that being said so uh, just to give you that example here guys with these cards um, if you have someone that uh, you like into your social circle and someone else from that social circle likes that person as well it seems that you're gonna have or we are going to have the upper hand uh, here of making bigger impression. That is because we are going to be uh, more prone to take risks and uh, more aware of in which moment what kind of action we need to take. Again, that action may not be something orthodoxal to us. It could seem alien, but that doesn't mean that it's not going to be effective at all. So we need to follow as well our hunches and our passion. It's not about intuition here, but rather passion uh, with the, all these uh, fiery cards. And uh, the last one, uh, the last card that we do have, this is going to be the Knights of Wands. So it does look like that the culmination is going to be that person, Knights of Wands, a, a very enterprising person, someone who is very uh, prone to take risks and to, to bring things to, or to do what is needed in order to stir their things. Uh, in a very positive way, the night is this night is quite reliable help wise. So that could be a, a new source of help coming around to you, Scorpios, which are going to the very least give you the idea how to be either lucrative or how to consolidate on your relationship as well. But the very least, guys, the Knight of Wands here are going to give us a room to explore the world in general, to, to see what more we can do in our environment, what more we can do off our skills into our, into our career, what more we can achieve into our relationship. And the best thing with the uh, Knights of Wands is that 
as a positive card, they are deprived from uh, bearing the consequences of their mistakes. So you can try something, see that it doesn't work, and then you, you just, it's kind of like you bring back the time and try something else. So we are going to have that time to truly adopt our true strategy or rather like the most accurate strategy of how to be most, more affect, most effective and most efficient uh, as well. The accompanied card, that will be the tower and we do have a very powerful active supporters combination. It seems that we are to avoid disaster with these cards. It's truly, um, like I told you, we are to take the steeds of the horse and we are to, uh, to avoid disaster by dictating the rules of the transformation. Because this transformation is going to be a disaster for everybody that does not dictate the rules there. But we Scorpios are going to dictate the rules. It seems that it's we are to obtain a, a huge amount of power to systemize or rather structure our relationship the way we want, our career the way we want. And at that point, sad to say, we have to stick to our personal preferences and we should ignore the rest or we should ignore the rest of the people around us. Because uh, with the Tower card and the Knights of Wands, guys, there is only one that is going to stand at the end winner. And that should be us, you, that being said. It's kind of like Duncan McLeod, you know, at the end there could be just only one or something like this. So uh, yeah, that was um, your weekly reading Scorpio for March 25th to March 31st, 2019. I hope you enjoyed it and you liked it guys. And uh, once again, that was your general reading for Scorpio star sign. And for that reason, this reading is going to resonate in a different way and in a different level with every single different Scorpio. But if you want your personal situation to be analyzed by me through Tarot and to give you a, a prediction for it, for its future, just like I did for the few examples in this video, you can check out my website, uh, which is listed down below in the description of this video. And on the very front page, you're going to find a full list of my services, as well as their pricing, starting from just as little as $12 for the recorded readings and $15 for the live readings. Rat signing out now. See you next time. Bye.